Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and this has already been concluded of the NBA 2K22 regular season. And now, first up, we start off with the NBA play-in tournaments on 2K Sports. It's coming up after this. Welcome to the play-in tournaments of 2K22. This is where we end it off here and begin for this part of a postseason before stepping into the NBA playoffs. So I hope you all enjoyed the NBA regular seasons. And of course, speaking of this one, I also bought the NCAA March Madness brackets. I hope you got your brackets right because if you don't, there are only upset of teams that you have already have been selected or not. Like in the uh, lower seed, or the higher seeds in this part of the uh, every round. So it looks like we are trying to work on our way to Elite Eight to the Final Four. And yes, we're getting there close right now. So if you guys have selected the teams that are heading to the Final Four, we'd like to congratulate you for making the best of uh, plays for each team. So the commentators are turned on. I will go ahead and bring them to the commentators who will be showing us here for the first, second, third, and fourth game of the play-in tournaments. And then the commentators will be disabled here for the playoffs on this screen. So the first matchup. We are going to start things off in the Western Conference of the lower, lowing seeds of the game. First up, we have is the New Orleans Pelicans back from first season with the win, and they will be playing against the number nine seed, Los Angeles Lakers. Yes, this is what we call it from here in between those two guys. So, New Orleans Pelicans won against the Celtics, and Los Angeles Lakers won against Denver Nuggets at a away game at Denver. And their home game is not too bad at all. So the starting lineups are on the board. We have CJ McCollum, Brandon Ingram, Herbert Jones, Jackson Hayes, and Jonas Valanciunas. And on the other side, we have Russell Westbrook, Malik Monk, Austin Reeves, Stanley Johnson, and the king of the man, LeBron James. Yes, there is no um, Anthony Davis with that. He is already injured, but we're not sure if he will be back here on the court. If their team wins or loss. That, that's because how they play. Winner of 9 and 10 seed will be heading on to the wild card position right from here. And then coming up on the next game, we will have is the Hawks and the Hornets. So tune in for the next game starting on Tuesday for the next one to bring in the game. So, without being said, let's head you down to Crypto.com Arena since the last game of Clippers and Detroit Pistons. Let's take you from the commentators on the board. They're all here for you guys. And there were a few sharp looking guys getting off the Pelicans team bus earlier on. Their only thought now is coming away with a win on the road. The Staples Center downtown Los Angeles and the freeways of L.A. All painting the picture just where we are tonight. Welcome everyone to Noche and a Beyond. A Latin theme is the backdrop to tonight's festivities. This is Kevin Harlan and joining me tonight, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. With our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, reporting from the sideline. D.A., it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Russell Westbrook has passed the great Oscar Robertson for first overall in career triple-doubles. Westbrook says, you just do what you need to do in order to win. My job is to do everything. That's what I do night in and night out, and nobody else does it the same. Simple as that. Kevin, nobody calls a game you. <laughs> David, you are too nice. Thank you so much. And Westbrook, he is incredible. Thank you, David. Let's quickly take a look at the standings out west. The season nearly complete. Taking a look at the Lakers, right now they're on the outside looking into the playoff seasons. 
And of course, there's the Pelicans right behind them, just one spot down. And you know, for Los Angeles, they're one of those teams that hasn't quite figured it out this year. A lot of talent, a lot of heart, but nothing to put them up on that next level. Key matchup, LeBron James against Jonas Valanciunas. I wonder if they need a person to change the hump. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. They've got Jackson Hayes. Ingram is out there with McCollum. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Jones in at the three spot. And for the Lakers, Russell Westbrook out there with Monk. And it's LeBron James. Then it's Jackson, and it's Reeves in at the small forward position. Russell, Russell Westbrook. LeBron James, he says. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings for the most all-time Count the basket. Doris Valanciunas, number 17, first round from New Orleans. The line shooting one, LeBron James. To your offense, Kevin, especially if you're able to pass out of double teams and hit guys who are open for shots. Free throw, no good for LeBron. I oh, love how effortless James takes this game. Look, everything comes easy to him. Here's Fallon Schumis. McCollum dishes to Jones. New Orleans moving the ball around. Here's Ingram driving inside. Brandon Ingram. That's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. He had very little resistance. I mean, he had to bring much faster help than that. Now, here's James. What a tremendous game he played against Toronto. Has to Reeves. Shoots it around the clock. James misses. Oh, he did everything right there except take the shot. to Valanciunas. Jonas. Valanciunas. Get you a pat on the back from your teammate. C.J. McCollum. And aware, picking out the perfect pass. Here's Westbrook. And the Lakers with another miss. The Pelicans have gone two or three here to start out the game. LeBron against McCollum. Back to Valanciunas. Inside. And the basket by McCollum. CJ McCollum. Just a game. McCollum, I mean, he really embraces taking on the defense and finding a way to finish. LeBron against Alan Schumas. James, the pass to Johnson. A three. The Lakers keeping it going. A new 14 second shot clock. To the middle. Valanciunas dishes to McCollum. That one you see, James McCollum. Well, if it ain't broke, Jonas Valanciunas. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn around. And right now, you just need a bucket to get some of the And they pick up LeBron. James. Russell, Russell Westbrook. Westbrook. He's allowed to get inside. Too strong. Too skilled. McCollum kicks to Ingram. Passes it to Jones. That's good. Rebound. With the assist. Jones. And he's not going to get that Ingram. sort of an opportunity from me. To the paint. Here's Jackson. It's blocked. Here's the pass to Monk. LeBron outside. Tries again. LeBron James. James has got six points. And the ball handling moves of James are sensational. Effortlessly slicing through the deepest quicks. It's Ingram on the wing. Monk defending. 
goes up on the wing and off the left side of the rim and the on show goes in for it. He has five. Lakers. So the Lakers timeout. Call a timeout. They're first. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. Yeah, their long range artillery will hit the mark. They more often than not a, a great equalizer when you're on the road. They were flat out sniping from deep. They look very comfortable pulling the trigger on the road. I'll slow things down a little bit. I will uh, I will go ahead and try doing the little freelance and an average and then I'll go patient on the offense. Little in between the team comparisons, that was four rebounds for Pelicans and two for the Lakers. Five in a row for New Orleans and three for Lakers. They have to keep it going and they gotta get a block because only one has already just shown off before for the Pelicans. So for the Pelicans, Ricky Gomez has checked in for him as well as Tony Snell comes in for Jackson Hayes. And Devontae Graham subbed in for McCullough. Now here's Westbrook. He definitely had a good game in their win against the Raptors. Here's Horton Tucker. Outside Bradford. Connects in the phone. Avery. Bradley. I mean, when you feel it, you got to let it fly, guys. Jones, the best to Aaron and Gomez. Back to Jones. Graham against Westbrook. Ingram outside. The basket is Brandon the Ingram. For Graham. And it just seems that every pass they make is Graham. leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And, and this may not be the juiciest stat you'll ever hear, but the development of Brandon Ingram as a free throw shooter early in his career was shocking. Yeah, that one goes in. Horton there to knock down the teardrop. Pelicans leading by three. Graham with the ball. Nine points, last game out. It's Snell. Rebounded by Anthony. There's Devontae Graham. Here's Horton Tucker. There's 48 seconds left here in the first quarter. Westbrook passes it to Horton Tucker. Brandon ends for two. They get it back. Proud his career. Boy, Howard. Size, touch, and time he possesses. It's just a lethal concoction. Pass to Herman Gomez. New Orleans moving it around. Kicks to Green. Pass to Jones. New Orleans with the triple. New Orleans, Jones, three ball. Job. He could be an ace when he gets a good look at three. Bradley against Hernan Gomez. Bradley can't get it to go. Man, you don't see this fella blowing in the games. Not against D like that anyway. Pass it to Ingram. Here's Snell, guarded by Bradley. Ingram, left side. Brandon Ingram, first lead. The bell. That's the way to close the quarter. Man, you see this so often. Lead wide into the period with a three-point attempt. And so it's New Orleans heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. Right back after this break. Got to do it together. Um, I think that's more important than scoring any points or doing anything else is, is leadership, and uh, that's where I got to find my my niche and uh, try to lead the guys. A great leadership in area where Westbrook I think feels he's growing, and, and with his motor, he's always been a culture setter. But bringing your teammates along is also about setting the tone for collaboration. And we welcome you back to our special Coach Latina broadcast. As the second quarter getting going right now. Yeah, right. Look at the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Pelicans. The three-pointer has been a major weapon for them in the early stages. I mean, they'd be smart to keep moving and working with the Three, three Avery, Avery, Bradley, Bradley Russell, Westbrook. Sets up a lot of easy scoring opportunities. 
And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So the Pelican five right now. Running Gomez out there with Tony Snell. Then it's Kira Temple. Then there's Devontae Green. And it's Murphy Tom on the three. Murphy. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their ben, shooters. Irvin Gomez. The last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now here's him. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. So the wing on the left. The kick out to Westbrook. Ariza has the open look. That's Trevor. Ariza. Ariza. Russell Westbrook. Snell, the pass to Graham. Back to Temple. The pass to Graham. Three. Getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. Westbrook dishes to a reason. You can't have a holding your defense. He's too smart to miss. Russell Westbrook. Pass to Temple. Here's Snell, covered by Anthony. From 12 feet out, Juan Gomez trying to break free. Anthony with an offensive effort. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Seven point difference. Free Russell Westbrook. Washington. And that'll be the first of a two game road trip. And first time out of the game. Oh, oh Anthony. And last year, Talk about Carmelo Anthony climbed into the top 10 all time in score. He's a surefire Hall of Famer, and he may never get that NBA title, but you factor in college and international play, and there's no doubt he'll be in Springfield. Well, change up here, one block still, eight assists here for the Lakers, nine for Pelicans, but both rebounds turned out to be five in between those guys, and that might be 100% on the Pelicans and only 75 for the Lakers. There might be another one to come in, but we will find out what happens here. Well, some changes here for the Lakers. James checked in for Howard. Johnson comes in for Anthony. And it's Malik Monk in for Avery Bradley. The Pelicans also changing it up. Valanciunas is checked in for Herning Gomez. Jackson Hayes comes in for Tony Snow. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Garrett Temple. Lakers trail by four. Uh, they can get it done. Oh. Look. Look. This is one of those fires. Receiving a pass where he wants it, elevating and knocking down the shot. The Pelicans have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for the report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. Anthony Davis, of course, is a superstar at both ends of the court. Ron James says his ability to guard anybody on the floor, one through Tell five, Murphy, take the challenge three. to guard on the perimeter and continue to protect the paint, it's hard to score on him. Guys? PA, he is a lead in every way. Nice over here. Thank you. Offensive rebound. Here's Westbrook. It's deflected. Out of bounds, the Lakers. Out of bounds. Lakers ball. For Jonas Valanciunas. And the stat to look at is his steal total over the last five games. He's been focusing on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot tougher on D. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest, going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Lakers trail by five. Master Monk fires from deep. Three. Monk. And Chris, one change we're seeing now. A lot less post up score. Did you miss it? I uh, do miss it. You just said we flipped. Close to the basket at times. We have a game. Got to win. But I'd love to see our players. Jackson. Ace. Dante Grant. And on the whole, I love the way that the game is involved. And, and I really miss the post up because we have to have a game. I think the rewarding skill and complete game now. So I think it's going to come out. Al Murphy 
Two minutes to play in the first half. And Hayes kicks to Graham. And another three. Dante Graham. Three. Mark Graham can become dangerous. I mean, he's got the accuracy to bury you. Please, Graham. He's a lurking. Floats one. Pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Mark. That's the three fly. And the Coming around, trying to make up for that goose egg he put up in the first quarter. Out to the wing. Now here's Higgins. He's guarded by Johnson. Charity swipe shot. They get the rebound. Or if he can't hit. I think he lets the D get to him there and rushes him. I mean, he has plenty of space there. He just takes his time. Ray LeBron James. It's McCollum with the drive. CJ McCollum. The assist from Graham. Devontae Graham. The assist in this one. But no one around him. Ray. Oh, Mark. Austin Reed. The frustration is mounting for the defense. To the right side. Hayes kicks to McCullough. Al Murphy. Six points for him. And the call. And the shot sends him to the line. So, Solomon Johnson, number, number 14. His first foul. First team foul on Lakers. At the line for two, number 25. Tim Murphy. Some changes here for the Lakers. Anthony's checked in for Stanley Johnson, and it's Avery Bradley in for Malik Monk. And then for New Orleans, Jones checked in for Jackson Hayes, and it's Ingram in for Devontae Green. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And that's another area where he is just a superb player, excellent at the free throw line. Down low, Anthony. Down low, Anthony. And Gordon Tucker. Well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Yeah, right, Tony. So, also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this time? And so, here's New Orleans following the bucket by the Lakers. One second separate in the shot clock in game time. Here's Jones, and there's two points. Right. Working on the last paying off that time. Jones has got ten points. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, and that's what's frustrating, because you did the job defensively to get the stop, and then you gave it right back. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Pelicans on top, up two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Carmelo, you got some real numbers off the bench in the first half. How important is that contribution to the team? Well, I mean, we always believe that we are one of the better best in the year. When they come to play like, they, like we're playing so far, you know, it, it makes it a tough game. It makes it a tough team to beat. But it's hoping we can keep that up. I'm sure it puts confidence in you and in the coach going into the second half. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow. Right here on 2K Sports. Time for recap. First half. Play, it's New Orleans in control. They've got a two-point lead. Kenny, what was your impression? I have to applaud their offensive consistency. They're not wasting possessions or taking bad shots. That's a testament to their pacing. They're disciplined. They're focusing on playing intelligent basketball. Shaq, what was your takeaway of the Lakers? What impressed me the most was the effort they put into the offensive glass. Second chance points are really had enough for them. Fighting through box out, battling for position, they own the offensive force. That's all for now. That's all for now today.
Thanks for See ya, us. guys. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. Let's head you back onto the court for the third quarter. We've got second-hand action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one can go down to the last possession. Really an incredible game from Malik Monk. Man, he's been running wild on through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And as they can't slow down, you know what you do? Keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game for you. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Johnson is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And there's Monk. And it's Reeves in at the three slot. Jordan. Oh, it's tough trying to alter his focus. I mean, Valachunas is great at staying in control. Well, a lot of teams are going smaller these days, but it is going to be a foul on Jordan Hayes. Efficient score. He's first foul. First team foul. Very inside If they want to play small ball. And the pass to Reeves. He put her. That's good. Austin Reeves has got six points. Out of their last Russell Westbrook. How about all five from one ring? Ingram on side. Back to McCullum. Jones, the pass to Hayes. Yes! And Brandon LeBron. Ingram. That's on LeBron James. Fouls on LeBron James. Number six is first. First team foul. At the line, shooting one. Brandon Ingram. That comes in handy in close games. Second pick in the 2016 draft out of Duke, bro. Brandon Ingram, possession, a rare combination of length and shooting. Now here's LeBron. He has six. It's scored by Don Chunis. Here's McCollum. CJ McCollum. Now it's a six-point Pelican lead. Rock solid start for him. I mean, they're three for three since coming out of the locker room. Ingram's got three assists in the game. Westbrook surveying the lead. Tim Murphy. Monk for three. Three. Monte Murphy. The Pelicans have gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Austin Reed. McCollum finds Valanciunas. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Collins has it to Ingram. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Foul on Andre Monk, number 11. His first, second team foul. And the fan without foul. Shooting to the free throw line. Brennan Ingram. Falls for Ingram. So both teams making some changes here. Oh, free throws. Good for Ingram. Here's Westbrook, he'll bring it up for the Lakers. Trailing by four. On the wing, Monk. Ariza outside. Westbrook gets to Ariza. 
Cross side off the mark. Well, that's their first miss after hitting three in a row to start the half. I mean, I guess it had to happen sometime. Ingram finds Jones. Now, Hernan Gomez. He's covered by Westbrook. Just five to shoot. Jones, no luck. But only the first miss of the second half would come out here with the story. Westbrook passes to Johnson. Good. Nice uh, Jones. Johnson. Johnson's got his first two points. And that makes it four for five. I mean, uh, I think that's pretty good to lose. I mean, they've got to be pleased with how things are playing off so far. New Orleans moving it around. A floater, and that Tony Snell. And the Pelicans lead by four. What a silky shot by Snell. Yeah, it's a perfect mark. Straight into the hoop. Double team on Westbrook. Launches a three. Connects. Ray Trevor. Marisa. Russell Westbrook. to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. But, but it had to be. These days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. Hernan Gomez with the ball. Westbrook picks him up. Snell. Tony Snell. Yeah. Snell's got four points now in the quarter. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the All interior. Right. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now, here's Westbrook. Five points in the game. Now, here's Monk. Back to Ariza for the tie. And a game Three. Three. Trevor Ariza. But it did take a lot of energy to get here. That's true. We'll see if they can keep forging ahead for now. you got to give them credit for coming back. And here is Ingram. After Trevor Ariza just hit the three, gets the three point of the ball. Solanda. Powerful defensiveness from Ingram. Not to only see his open teammate, but to the out. Lakers. Timeout called the Lakers. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. So it looks like we're getting there very close right now. Now we have one turnovers for each team. And another block turned out to be the Pelicans, but nothing on the run for the Lakers to hit the block. I do not see LeBron James hitting with the block shot and I try to turn around the other way. I did not see the play, but I really will really want to see it. Because of that, he is destroying and messing things on the court. But we have to see what could happen. And if there is only a great steal turning out to be Pelicans, we have to find out who will it be next. Changes. Anthony's checked in for Stanley Johnson. Horton Tucker comes in for Trevor Reese. And Bradley subbed in for Monk. A minute 20 left here in the third quarter. Here's Horton Tucker. Taking a look at his stats. He's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Ingram outside. Back to Temple. Passes it to Graham. Here's Ron Chimis. And plenty of contact. Lakers foul so number 20, A.B. Bradley. And there's his first, the first team foul. Starting from off the bench, Ron Chimis is a At the line, shooting to Jonas Valanciunas. Drops for Valanciunas. Getting a little bit, a little bit rock on the neck here in between the Pelicans and the Lakers. This could be a, this could be definitely a tight squeeze in between those guys. So we're gonna have to see who will be taking the wild card. Good on both. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he was in the post. Outside Westbrook. To the left side wing. 
Here's Horton Tucker. And again, no good by the Lakers. New Orleans leading by five. To the inside. Count it. Tony Snell. Six in the quarter. What focus from Snell. His, his Garrett Temple. To the side of the Sassons. Going inside, off the run, rebounded by Alan Shunis. For New Orleans, they've gone 9 of 10 on their attempts in the third quarter. That is 90% from the field. What a roll they're on. Ingram finds Alan Shunis. Now here's Graham, the pass to Temple. Shoots over Brandt, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. Pelicans lead by seven. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And how about the big fella here showing us? He's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. This is where the NBA is headed. I mean, multi-dimensional big men. That was just a beautiful pass. Well done for Hayes. May have to pick it up a little bit more better, but you can do a lot more much better here on offense. action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Lakers trail by seven on the court for the Pelicans. Getting the fourth quarter going. Brian Daniels out there with Hayes. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas, then there's C.J. McCollum, and it's Graham in at the shooting guard. His interior scoring is one of the things that drives their offense. Don't expect him to miss me, though. From 11 feet away, that shot off. And it's Bradley with the ball for Los Angeles. Anthony finds James, and here's Bradley, Graham defending. Nice ball moving in by the Lakers. LeBron James. This is crazy athleticism for James. He's part of the biggest team. New Orleans leading by five. And here's Hayes. Pass to Graham. Allen Judas trying to free himself up. Graham with the bucket. Devontae Graham. Now each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Yeah, it seems like whenever one team scores, the other comes right back with a puck to the zone. Now, here's Brad. James, left side. Out of bounds. No Out of bounds. bounds. New Orleans ball. Jones checked in for the Pelicans. The Pelican shooting has been just uncontainable. 72% to the left wing. Valanciunas dishes to Jones. Back to Valanciunas. McCollum outside. Shot clock at six. Here's Ingram. Good for the first time in five shots. He remains perfect. Three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start. Ooh, got him. The pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Reeves. Pass to Bradley. And here's the three. Elegant with the rebound. Alan Jones has got five rebounds tonight. Inside. Gets it out to McCollum. Alan Jones passes to McCollum. Outside, Jones, driving the lane, good on the shot. Jones, that's an 11 Herbert point Jones. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And Bradley, Avery, Bradley. Bradley. this game to excel in the catch and shoot. And it's Hayes in the corner. Puts it up from 12. Takes it out to Jones. McCollum outside. Allen Jones trying to free himself up. New Orleans with a fresh shot clock. Another shot. He lays it in. Jonas Von Jones. And the Pelicans lead by 10. They are just killing them on the interior. 
Hill brought outside. Takes it out to Bradley. Orton Tucker, the pass to Carmelo. Elegant with the rebound. Alan Jarris has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Jones finds Alan Jarris. Back to Jones. Ingram outside. Passes it to Jones. Here's Alan Jarris. That one wide left. Lakers trail by 10. To the middle. Here's Reeves. James trying to Austin Reeves. The Pelicans have gone 4-7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Hayes dishes to Dallin Jones. Two Hayes. minutes for the fourth quarter. Not loose, taken away by Anthony. One forty-nine left in the fourth quarter. LeBron passes to Anthony. Here's Reeves. From the corner, Austin Reed. Anticipation on the field. Right? Knows exactly where to go with that ball. Avery Bradley. Alan Judas in the high post. Back to McCollum. Alan Judas trying to free himself up. McCollum, no good. Los Angeles has gone one two from three point range here in the fourth. And there's the call. Reaching foul. Over Jones, number five, it is first, first team's off. Stanley Johnson, he's checked in for Anthony. Up comes in for Orton Tucker. And also as well, he's so in for Avery Grant. Almost time for the game, we got a few more to go. Left here in the fourth quarter. Westbrook gets the mark. Reeves, the pass to Johnson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance with the line. Adams foul, number 17, Jordan Solon Junez. His second, second team foul. All right, we'll take Shooting two, number 14, generated so far as Johnson. Down for the Pelicans. I love how they've attacked the basket in this game. They've taken a very aggressive approach. And they've also worked hard to get the ball inside. They haven't just settled. And they've hit a lot of high percentage shots in this game. He hits the first one, and that brings them within five. And Johnson, the former Arizona Wildcats, certainly has a bright future in this league. The combination of shooting, speed, and length he possesses is just exciting. And both free throws, good for Johnson. Timeout. Pelicans. They've got to keep eating away at the lead. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They're ahead by four. They've got 113 left in the fourth quarter. Looking good so far. In between those guys, the Lakers are trying to answer back right away. But the Pelicans are trying to destroy the number nine seed in the game. This could be the biggest upset of a game, just like NCAA March Madness. But we're not sure what will happen here if there's another choice in between the others. The last time it was the Wizards and the other team we called it for, the Pacers. And at that time, it was the, it was the Wizards advancing towards to the next possession to play against the, the winning or losing team. But that is just a hard hit that they take. We already seen the Warriors playing against the Memphis Grizzlies, and that was just a close call. Just one more change, and now your New Balance player of the game is up. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, or CJ McCollum. Yeah, this percentage from the field tonight, just amazing. He hasn't just been gunning. He, he's been picking his spots, and, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he had. Clark, who's checked in for New Orleans. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to the Pelicans coach talk to his team. He told us, guys, this is it. We need one final Jonas, Jonas Valanciunas, CJ McCollum. Also talked about making smart plays with the ball. Kevin, you can't have any mistakes at this point in the game. Thank you, David. Here's Westbrook after the main shot from Noah's Valanciunas. Russell Westbrook. Westbrook. 
left in the fourth quarter. Just a little change up here. We only had two turnovers here and no block yet for the Lakers. They haven't answered it right away without the king man of James. We have to find out who will be taking it from here. Will it be Lakers with a comeback rally and a timeout on Pelicans? Or will the Pelicans score and a last timeout turn to be Lakers? We'll find out once this game is coming to a near end. Here's Mark. Down low, here's Westbrook. Yes! Russell Westbrook. Jonas Valanciunas. Final timeout called by the Lakers. Full timeout. He's got this positioning. He's determined to score. And the Lakers call time here. Well, it looks like the Pelicans just really reached. It's a lot of hard work. But this dedication that this turned out, it was Brandon Ingram that did turn out to be just that. But CJ McCollum, however, had an amazing game for this season to bring on with his next career. And for the next step, he might be heading toward to the NBA wildcard position to face on against the winning team in between, or the losing team, the Timberwolves or the Clippers. There might be some forceful option right down in the lane. We'll find out when it comes in there for our number team. No timeouts for Lakers. We start now. 24 seconds left in the game. Oh, a nice defense. Wow, what a play. And now they decide to foul intentionally. There's no foul on LeBron James, his second. And George McCollum, he'll bring it up for the Pelicans. They've led by his many Lakers foul, Austin Reeves. And that's an intentional foul. Foul number 15, his first foul. 13 foul. Shooting two, free throw line, number five. Herbert Jones. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven point lead. Last possession, last uh, sub changes for both teams. Side as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. 
Thanks, Kevin. Jonas, you have a lot on you in terms of patrolling the paint. How do you think you're doing? I feel good. You know, uh, there's a better game, there's a worse game, but, uh, you know, I'm bringing energy every game, I'm fighting, and uh, my job is to take rebounds, set a screen, so I'm doing a good job. It's front work, but you're good at it. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Let's check out your free stars player of the game. Your final score is 80 to 73. The 10th seed puts an upset on the 9th seed as they are moving on to the wild card position to take on against the losing team for the battle of the 8th seed. So, we will find them out next time for the Timberwolves and the Clippers. So, here are the free starting uh, stars of the game. Starting up at number three, Malik Monk. 17 points, two assists, and just one turnover that didn't work out at all. If there isn't any, uh, anything to say about Monk, but that's all it turned out. Number two star, we head you right over to the Pelicans. We have is Herbert Jones. Herbert Jones puts up a domination of his performance effort, only turned out to be just like that. 13 points, one rebound, one assist. Didn't really take that much, but that's all I had. And your number one star goes out to the New Balance player of the game, Brandon, well, of course, Brandon Ingram. He already got turned out to be just like that. But what about the toughness call? He made the shot. That's just like even the worst thing that definitely happened to him. Just recalling from Celtics and Pelicans for the first game. And CJ McCollum is the New Balance player of the game. So thank you for watching of the first game of play-in tournaments of the Western Conference. We will have the next matchup in the Eastern Conference. That will be coming up next there soon, premiering on Tuesday on my channel. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so now. If you don't, somebody will. I'd like to thank you all for joining us here for the, for the matchup of the postseason. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, everyone, for us a while as the NBA 2K22 dial and the NBA play-in tournament dial. We'll see you all next time for the next game of Hawks and Hornets.